This, correct me if I'm wrong, 39th cookbook. 30, you are correct. Tell me about this. This is big. <laughs> this is unheard of. 39. You know, I always say that writing cookbooks is a volume business. You have to make you have to really write a lot of them in order to make any money. So, you know, I usually have two or three going. I've been doing this for a while. And, um, I mean, it's, it's, I love writing cookbooks. I mean, I love writing, I love writing for the New York Times. That is my joy. But I love writing cookbooks. I love experimenting. I love coming up with a craving for something. You know, like, oh, my gosh, I want to eat this. How do I get there? How do I get to, you know, it, um, my latest thing that I'm working on right now is I'm making um, – pimento mac and cheese for the instant pot for the pressure cooker mm -hmm. and so how do I get there how do I get the right level of spice and just you know coming up with this idea and then testing it and then writing about it I mean to me it's honestly I'm, I'm thrilled that I get paid for it I can make a living but it's so much fun that it's just it's so it's a lot of cookbooks but the process has just been it's been amazing now, when does Guinness reach out to you? How many books do you have to have? For, for oh, there is, oh, believe me, there are people who've written far <laughs> more books than me. But, you know, I mean, I can, I can honestly say that I've written a lot of them. Most of them are very short, smaller books that I wrote when I was, you know, sort of younger and coming up. I've written, um, you know, now I can, it takes me about a year, a year and a half to write a book. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I wrote, my first book was a, a bread machine cookbook. And um, remember when everybody used bread machines? You even remember this? So everyone used bread. Uh, so that was my first book. And I was, you know, I was actually um, right out of college. And I knew I wanted to write about food. And I had um, worked in a lot of restaurants. And I had studied um, baking. So I knew that I wanted to write about food. And I got this opportunity to develop recipes for this bread machine cookbook. And that was the first one. And I did that book in six weeks. Wow. Yeah, I had four bread machines going. Um, they were four-hour cycles, so I would get up every four hours, like in the middle of the night. I'd set my alarm, get up, and like put a new bread in. <laughs> it was like having a, it was like having a kid. This you is know? commitment. It yeah. was, it was, and that was so. First of all, that was uh, my first book. It taught me a work ethic of like, okay, I really need to get this done. I need to work really hard, and it also. Um, showed me that it was possible, you know, because when you have such a tight deadline, you can't question yourself. You can't second guess yourself. So it was really good to start out sort of by trial by fire. You know, that's interesting because um, obviously there has to be a level of dif discipline. It, it can't just be, oh, I'm just I'm not in the mood to write. I have to get into the mood. You okay. can't. There, there is none of that. You know, that's another thing they say in, you know, um, Deadlines are lifelines. Like if yeah. you don't have that deadline every week or every day or whatever your deadline is, it's really hard. It's so much harder to get things done. Like when I have a year to write a book, in a way, I love it because I have all this time. But it's also it's almost too much. You know, it's yeah. it's like the my mother always says, and I think this is true: the longer you have for a task, like however many hours you've given yourself, the the task will expand to fill that amount of time. So if you give yourself six weeks to write a cookbook, you will write it in six weeks. If you give yourself a year, that same book will take that much longer. Yeah. You know, because you'll you'll figure out lots of ways to procrastinate on along the way. <laughs> See, I have this terrible habit, and maybe it's because I like the adrenaline rush, but I wait sometimes to the very end. And Do you, yeah. It, it gets there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pressure, but sometimes it comes out okay. It comes out fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's enough to get by, really. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, by the time you leave it to the last minute, then you're just like, I got to get it done. So I'm going to get it done. And then you, you yeah. either get that, you know, creative flash of brilliance and it's amazing or, you Fingers know what? Crossed. Right. Or, you know what? You've gotten the job done. It's fine. And you, you move on to the next thing. Not everything is going to be brilliant and that's okay. As long as it's good and then some things are brilliant. I think that's a good balance. That's what I strive for.